not even be good health. Your greatest need may not even be a husband or, or a wife. It is a need, yes, but it is not the greatest. The greatest need of mankind is eternal life. Amen. That is what I'm preaching about this morning in the short time that I have. Now use three very basic, uh, well-known or common passages of scripture to lay the foundation of this message. And I have two objectives. For those here who don't know Jesus as their personal Lord and Savior, my prayer is that at the end of this message, yeah. Yeah. you will be convicted Amen. and brought to a point where you will see this Jesus whom we serve here in PIWC Accra. That's your, that's your biological name. PIWC Accra. And in the church of Pentecost, you will make this Jesus your personal Lord and Savior. So that he will be a friend and a Lord and a guide in your life. So let's quickly take three passages of scripture. First John chapter 5. The epistle of John, not the gospel. The first one, chapter 5, and we'll read from verse 11 to 13. First John 5, 11 to 13. I take the reading from the NIV. And this is the testimony. God has given us eternal life. And this life is in the Son. Whoever has the Son has life. Whoever does not have the Son of God does not have life. I write these things to you who believe in the name of the Son of God so that you may know that you have eternal life. Are you here and do you believe in the name of the Son of God? Then the word of God is affirming to you this morning that by your belief, you have eternal life. I write this day to you who believe in the name of the Son of God so that you may know that you have eternal life. May we live this service with a clear knowledge of the fact that we have eternal life. Amen. And the reason why we have eternal life is that we have believed in the name of the Son of God. And please, what is his name? Jesus. What is the name of the Son of God? Jesus. Jesus. If you believe in his name, the word of God confirms to you this morning that you have eternal life. The other two verses of scripture we, we may have to recite because they are common. Romans chapter 6, verse 23. Are we together? Romans chapter 6, verse 23. I don't want it on the screen. I want us to recite it. I don't know. You may get to the gate of heaven. Whoever is the gate man then you say recite Romans 3 23. And you say you, you are a member of the evangelism ministry of the Church of Pentecost and you don't know Romans 3 23. No, no. So, yes, the thing is off the screen. Let's go. Go. For the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Christ our Lord. Let's go again. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus 
our Lord. Amen. Amen. Last one. As for that one, if you don't know it, you may not make heaven. If you don't know how to recite it, you may not make heaven. Let not your heart be troubled. You are well able to recite that one. We will do, it, we will do that one even better than Romans 6, 23. John chapter 3, verse 16. Don't you know that one? Clap for yourself because you know it for it. So, let's go. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. A big amen to that one. Amen. Yes, you have done very well. Beloved in the Lord, the reason why I say eternal life is the greatest need of every man is that Eternal life is the greatest gift God gave man at creation. What God gave Adam, which the Bible describes as making him a living soul or calls the breath of life, in actual fact, was eternal life. What God gave Adam. The Bible says that God took of the dust of the ground and formed the man and breathed into the man. And the man, he breathed into the man the breath of life and the man became a living soul. What God breathed into the man was not just oxygen. It wasn't just oxygen. So that the thing is looking like God put oxygen in him and I don't know, I'm not too much of a scientist. So the oxygen generated carbon dioxide with the man had to exhale. It was not about oxygen and carbon dioxide. What God put into the man was eternal life. And to make it a bit clearer, let me say that eternal life is the life of God. Eternal life, it is the life of God. It is divine life. Physical life or human life is finite. It is time bound. As we sit here, each and every one of us, from me, the preacher of the gospel this morning, to you, the listener, I don't know where it's written, but somewhere on our body, there is an expiry date. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All of us, no one is exempt. There is an expiry date. But what we are carrying is physical life. And this physical life has an end point. I pray that God will defer yours. I didn't get the email one. Yeah. Do you want to go now?
touch this life, to make this life a portion. You are standing there, you can come and join the living as we committed to the Lord this morning and pray for men.
maybe before any imaginations run wild, we have held a practice within the church that when the church organizes a funeral, usually we wouldn't do this. An honor is given one to whom honor is deserved. Those of you who probably haven't been long in the church may not know the extent to which our father, brother, and friend of the Yish for has served not only the church of Pentecost, but this particular prayer that we use. And so when we do this, it is just right that we honor the memory of such a great man who served the Lord so dutifully, and we are all beneficiaries of that. So don't get your imaginations run wild. Honor must be done for the one to whom it is deserved. Amen. Amen. Wonderful. Bless you for the life of our father, Obeni Yakumbuafu. Thank you for his life. Thank you for what he used him for. We are praying for this family that he has left behind. That you will counsel them, you will be with them. That they will know you and know you better. Amen. Know you even more, much more than what they have experienced through your servant. We pray that you protect them. We pray that those who do not know you will open their eyes to see that eternal life is in you. May 
Your name be glorified. In Jesus' name. God be with you. Amen. for this opportunity for my God being in your presence and it is joy. In the name of Jesus have we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. 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 Into his goodness. May his mercy follow you across the week. May the windows of heaven be opened over your life. And may everything that will make your life fulfilling and enjoyable come to you in Jesus name. May you be kept under his wings and his eyes watch over your soul. Go in his peace and in his blessing. Where he me come we Ya me where he me every more. Yes, who feed your mammy? Yet to have a mammy. Yeah, can't tell me so sad. Hey me, yeah, yeah, that was a brave one. 